Okay, here's the key concept of today. Now, this can be tricky. It's, it gets hard sometimes, so just pay attention and try to do this best you can. Uh, how do you find zeros when it's a complicated expression, which I'm going to give you? Uh, number one, list all possible rational zeros. Sometimes we have to do this, sometimes we don't, but just keep this in mind. List the possibilities. Then what we're going to do, step two, is we're going to use the calculate button in your uh, calculator to find the zeros from this list. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to use those zeros to divide the polynomial synthetically. And then, which will lead us to factors, which then will lead us to more zeros. And then we keep repeating steps one and two, calculating until we get down to a quadratic. Then we can use quadratic formula to, to solve the rest. But keep in mind what we're doing. We're finding zeros. So factors will lead us to zeros. Okay, so let's... Uh, you should probably pause the video, maybe take these uh, notes down right here, and then um, we'll do a problem. So I'll move on to the problem. Okay, so put this uh, in your calculator right here. This will be our example. 2x to the fourth power plus 5x to the third power minus 18x squared minus 19x plus 42. Put that in your y equals button right now. So I already put it in mine. I just cleared. I didn't clear my first one. I just put it in Y2. You can do whatever you want. So mine's in Y2 right now. Okay. Now what we want to do with this is find zeros. And I told you before, you can look at your table. I always look at my table first. So let's do that. Let's not make it harder than it is. Okay. So let's look at the graph. Look at that graph right there. Look how many times it crosses the x-axis. One, two, three, four times. Uh, what what degree is it? Notice it's to the fourth power. That's no coincidence. Okay. Now, let's look at our table. See if we can get anything out of our table. Notice one thing in there. You see negative two comma zero. So, off to the side, to myself, I would write x equals negative two is a zero of the function okay that's what I got from my table sometimes you'll be able to get one thing or two things sometimes you won't so be ready for that but since that is a zero what does that lead me to we talked about this the other day then if that's true then x plus two is a factor so think about this here's the function x plus 2 is a factor of this function. Okay, so we got one factor down, it's to the fourth power, so probably got three more, but maybe not. Alright, so since we know that's a factor of this, just like you did the other day, you're going to divide. So, put the negative 2 in the box, because that's your, put your 0 in the box, and then let's do the work. 2, 5, negative 18, negative 19, 42, 2, negative 4, 1, negative 2, add them up, negative 20, positive 40, and what is that, negative, positive 21, <coughs> excuse me, and then negative 42, and notice you get a zero there. This is how you can tell that this is a factor because we got a zero here. That, that's going to be important in this lesson. Okay, so negative two is a what we call a zero. We saw that in our table. Now let's go get some other zeros. That's the only one in your table, as you can see as you flip through. But now we're left with this. What we did was we just used a zero to come up with another factor. Keep that in mind. So what is our factor? Now we have my notes off to the side. We got 2x cubed plus x minus 20. Oh, goodness. Uh, let's see. 2x cubed plus x squared minus 20x plus 21. 
that's what this is right there okay now so basically x plus 2 times this gives you the original let's find a zero within this guy that's that's the next step what we could do if we went back to my notes is you could list all your possible rational zeros but if you look if you look at your graph let's see here's all the zeros one two three four of them these could be rational numbers or, or not right now we know negative two negative two right here is one of the zeros we don't know what this is we don't know what these two are so we are going to go to I think step two and we're going to calculate one of them let's calculate calculate a zero and you can choose anyone Let, let's go for this one see my cursor how it's blinking I can move that cursor up and down okay the whole way across now let's say I'm going for this point right in here okay there's two of them right let's say I'm going for that one I have to make a left boundary so that's see my cursor down it's to the left of the point I want this point right here see how my cursor is to the left just hit enter you don't even have to type numbers in you make a right boundary so I'm gonna take my cursor and I'm gonna I'm gonna move it up a little bit see how I'm to the right of the point that I want I'm gonna hit enter I'm gonna guess hit enter again and it's going to give me look at that number okay 1.8284271 that's an ugly number but off to maybe off in your notes somewhere and you, you might write, write that 1.828 and then dot 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 it doesn't have a pattern to it so what that's telling me right there is that number is probably irrational so we're not going to be able to you're not going to be able to tell me hey here's the answer that number is irrational okay so what you want to do is you want to go get another one so maybe you want to go get this zero right here so second calculate number two and then I'm gonna move my cursor again I want a left boundary of this one so I'm gonna move to the left here right now my cursor is to the left of that point that I want I'm gonna press enter you can scroll to the right of the point you want be careful don't go past the other point so I'm right to the right of it right now hit enter hit enter again and let's look at this number Ooh, look at that number a zero one point five comma zero well that's a nice number isn't it so my zeros so far uh, the given was what negative two is the given and I just got one 1.5 but instead of 1.5 give me three halves okay now since you found that zero right there what does that lead you to you should be thinking oh well if that's a zero then x minus three halves is a factor so here's what you're gonna do you're gonna go use synthetic division to find another factor so one factor is x plus two and we find another zero which leads us to another factor which let's go back to synthetic division in the box you put the R which is three halves okay now this one is going to take a little more, more brain power three halves into now check out what I'm going to write right here I'm not going to write the original I'm going to write the last the last factor I'm putting that here so see how complicated this is this is kind of getting so you have to be very organized with your notes and what you're doing here and know exactly what you're doing so you find a zero you put it here here's a factor there it is within this factor are more factors so that's what we're doing <clears throat> this is a zero of this factor okay this is a zero of this factor so that's why I'm gonna put three halves and I'm gonna put I'm gonna use this up here so two one negative twenty and twenty one alright let's get, let's use it bring the two down multiply three halves times two is three add them up four three halves times four is six add them up that's negative fourteen 
3 has times 14, negative 14 is negative 21, and look at that, 0. So this shows you that that one is a 0 of the function. <clears throat> so x minus 3 has is a factor, but technically, if we keep doing that, you're going to get x minus 3 has x minus this, x minus this, but really we should be getting a 2 somewhere. Right? So, so far, we have x plus 2 as a factor x minus 3 halves as a factor and when we use those two we got this factor left so I wrote that down here so I'm gonna write out my factors right now I'm gonna put uh, x minus 3 halves right here and I'm gonna put x plus 2 which was the first one we found okay so then that makes sense x times x times 2x squared gives me 2x to the fourth but look at this we, we don't want this right here Look at these three terms. Do you notice anything? You notice that 2 is common in all three terms. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that 2 out. 2 times x squared plus 2x minus 7. And then I'm still going to have x minus 3 halves and x plus 2. That looks ugly though, right? Because it's times 2. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this 2 and I'm going to multiply it to this thing right here. So if I multiply 2 times this, that becomes 2x, and 2 times this, that becomes minus 3. So basically, in all reality, when, when you get the fractions, it's really, you take that denominator out front, and then it's 2x minus 3. That was the real factor. Okay, so final, final factors are x plus 2, uh, 2x minus 3, because I distribute that 2 here which I don't distribute to everything just just that one section and then you got x squared plus 2x minus 7 now look at those those are three factors that we got based on looking at the calculator I looked at the calculator got this one I divided and you got this thing which is the other factor I looked at that factor actually I should have typed that in the calculator we look back at the original. I should have typed this in the calculator and then look for another zero which you still would have come up with if you did second calculate you would have come up with this is a zero okay so if this is a zero of this then you use synthetic division and you come up with your other factor okay <clears throat> alright now you got your last factor you pull out the two there it was and then you rewrite everything. So these three factors multiply to get this guy up here. Still not done yet, right? What are we looking for? We are looking for, should have wrote up top, find all the zeros. Okay? That's great. Find all the zeros. And to do that, those are the steps, but we're still not done. So zero right here is negative two. You can tell just by looking at it. A zero right here is move that three over divide by two. Zero is three halves. We already we already found that out. That's a zero. That's a zero. Now how are you gonna get the zero of this thing right here? Well, some of you are probably thinking, well, what if that factors? Factors are seven negative seven that add up to two. This thing does not factor. That's why I chose this problem. Okay? So how are you gonna find the zeros? of that right there well the only way right now is quadratic formula okay so let's end off the problem with quadratic formula negative b which is two plus or minus square root of b squared so two squared which is four minus four oh goodness a which is one times c which is negative seven Okay, all over 2 times a, which is 1. All I got to do now is simplify what you see up here. I'm going to go up instead of down. So negative 2 <clears throat> plus or minus square root of, what does that become? 4 plus 28, so 32 all over 2. And lastly, you have to you have to simplify this. I don't want decimal answers. None of these in this thing are decimal answers. 
you just simplify. Square root of 32, you should know that. Square root of what? 4. Uh, square root of 8, which keeps simplifying. So square root of 16. And square root of 2. So that's 4 root 2. So here's what you have so far. Negative 2 plus or minus 4 root 2 all over 2. But you better know that simplifies, right? 2 and 2, 4 and 2. So this becomes last answer. Negative 1 that divide plus or minus 4 divided by 2 is 2 root 2. That is your final two answers. Now look at all the answers that you have. I know this is kind of messy. I'll write it in purple here. Final answers. You found negative 2 in the beginning. You write it down. The next one you found was 3 halves. You write it down. And then the next two you had to use quadratic formula on. And which you come up with up here. Negative 1 plus or minus 2 root 2. And that is the basics of solving, uh, finding the zeros of any long polynomial, okay? Step one, look in your table, if there is any, and sometimes there won't be any. If there isn't any, you just go straight to step two. Second, calculate. Calculate some zeros. That's how we got the three halves, okay? Right from your, right from your calculator, right? So... I'm just doing a recap right now. So second, calculate. You can do your zeros. I'm not going to do it again. Left boundary, right boundary. Find them. Okay. Sometimes the answers are weird answers. That's why you got this answer right here, 1.828. Okay. You don't round. Uh, and that's just an irrational answer, so you can't go with that. That's this right here. 1.828 is one of these two answers right here. Negative 1 plus or minus 2 root 2. That's where that came from. Okay? So you have to do it all by hand here. So if there's any questions, you guys got to come see me. You got to practice this. All right? Uh, go along with the book. Read the book. That's about all we can do, though. That's, that's the gist of today's lesson. Just follow the steps. And, uh, yeah, just come up with... Uh, all the zeros. Notice the degrees for that's why we come up with four answers. So